We're in the June Odd 8 exam. This is page 4B, starting with question 17. A 60 kilogram student, so the mass is 60 kilograms. He climbs a ladder of vertical distance of 4 meters. He's going up a distance of 4 meters. 4 meters is about two stories. Clearly, this is not a public school because they never let a kid go up a ladder 4 meters. This is probably fire school. This guy's studying to be a fireman. And he can do that in a time of 8 seconds. Approximately how much total work is done against gravity. And now to the key to this is that work is done against gravity. So the, the force he has to overcome is the force of gravity, which in fact is uh, mg, his weight. So uh, work is force times distance. Work is force times distance. So that's going to be uh, the force is mg and the distance. We really don't care about the time for work. So uh, <clears throat> we multiply his 60 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times 4 meters. So uh, about 6 times, so it's about, here we go, about 2,400 joules of work. Question 16. A car travels at a constant speed, V, up a hill from point A to point B. So he's rising up in the air a certain distance, but traveling at a constant speed. If the car travels from A to B, the gravitational potential energy, well, the gravitational potential energy increases. Ah, but this is a two-part question. So let's answer the gravitational potential energy question first. So he's going up in the air. He's gaining potential energy. So 1 and 2 remains the same, can't be that, remains the same, can't be that. All right, and the rest of the question is kinetic energy. His kinetic energy is decreasing, so kinetic energy remains the same. Well, typically if you roll a ball uphill, it slows down. So number 1 would be the correct answer, but we're told specifically it maintains a constant velocity, and its kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, so velocity stays the same and kinetic energy stays the same. So the correct answer has got to be number two. Question 19. What is the maximum amount of work that a 6,000 watt motor can do in a time equal to 10 seconds? First of all, we've got to realize that uh, 6,000 watts, that's the power. 6,000 watts. Light bulb measured in watts. Uh, the power is measured in watts. So we've got power and time. We're looking for work. So we go to the formula for power, and it says it's work divided by time. So power equals work divided by time. Work is equal to power times time. So 6,000 times 10 is uh, 60,000. Question 20. Three resistors, 4 ohms, 6 ohms, and 8 ohms, are connected in parallel in an electric circuit. The equivalent resistance of the circuit is. Well, we've got a formula for this. And for parallel circuits, the equivalent resistance is 1 over the equivalent resistance is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And we could certainly plug the numbers in and come up with the correct answer. However, we also have this thing that says resistance is a function of uh, resistivity times the length divided by the cross-sectional area. So when you put resistors in parallel, if you say resistance is equal to resistivity times length divided by cross-sectional area, by adding another resistor in parallel, basically I'm making it a fatter wire. Of, 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 um, I'm increasing the cross-sectional area. If I do that, I decrease my resistance. So we'll look at the choices. We've got 4, 6, and 8 ohm, and the answers are less than 4, between 4 and 8, between 10 and 18, and 18. Um, this is going to be, uh, 18 would be the answer if they were in series. But if I put them in parallel, my resistance continues to drop. And if it starts at 4, it's going to get less than 4. Correct answer is going to be that one. Question 21. An electric circuit contains a variable resistor connected to a source of constant voltage. 
as the resistance of the variable resistor is increased, the power, well, we got power, we got resistance, and we've got voltage. So we go to the equations for power. Power is equal to voltage times current. Um, voltage can be written as uh, current times resistance, so we could say power is equal to current squared R, or power equals V squared over R. We've got voltage, we've got resistance, we're looking for power, we're going to use that variation. Power is equal to V squared over R. So the resistance is going to go up, while the voltage stays the same. Well, if the resistance increases, the power has got to decrease. Choice one.